This is an example of how to do dependency walking inside of the data access layer. This is the Acme Sales database that we've been using in other examples. Uh, it is uh, basically a copy of the Northwind database, so it's a customer order order details database with other tables like category and territories and such. But we're going to focus on the customer to order, order to order details uh, relationships. So inside of this database we have a customer table. The customer table is related to the order table by that relationship. And if we find the order table, we'll see that it, that it also has a relationship to the order details table. So these relationships have already been defined. So we generate the model and these relationships can be walked uh, in straight code. So I have already written this. So we come here, we build it, everything builds. Okay, the first line, we're going to select exactly one customer by its primary key. The customer has a primary key that's an integer, so we're just gonna assume that there's a customer one and we pull back a uh, customer with a user ID of one. Okay, uh, assuming that comes back and it's not null, uh, we could walk to the order list. Now, the reason this is an order list is because there's a one-to-many relationship from customer to order. So this one customer has many orders. So the code knows that and actually generates an order list. Now, that list could have zero items in it, of course, but it will always be an instance of, an, of a list that it does exist. It will never be null. So we're going to loop through all the orders inside of the order list for that customer. And now we have this order and we can print the order date, right? That's just another property of the order object. Uh, we can actually do dependency walking back up the tree. So this order has a customer item. The reason it's a customer item and not a customer list is because this is the many part of the relationship and the customer is the one part of the relationship. So there's exactly one customer for this order. So we, we know that there's going to be a customer item, not a list of customers. So we can just print that out. We say order.customerItem.firstName. This customer item is the same instance as this customer item. Now we can also walk another the, the other relationship from the order down to the order details. So now we can say for each order details, each order detail in the order objects order detail list. Again, for the same reason, this is a list because there are many order details for every order object. And you could walk uh, back up the tree if you wanted to. Detail dot order item. There. We have detail dot order item right there. So we could actually walk that relationship back up. So you can actually, inside of code, walk as far down or as far up a tree as you want to. You never have to define any explicit relationships because they are defined within the model. So this provides very powerful syntax for simply writing loops and uh, navigating to and from different objects. And that's how you do dependency walking.